Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of April 10th to April 16th, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's go. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, Seven of Cups. Wanted to show itself. Some of you are um, exploring your options with the Seven of Cups. Opening yourself up to new options here in regards to love. Or it could be in regards to something else, doesn't have to be love. You're exploring, you're exploring different alternatives, different options. All right, tell me more about the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week, Spirit. Thank you. We have Knight of Cups and the Justice card. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Devil card in reverse. Hmm. No. Four of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and Two of Pentacles at the bottom. With the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're dropping something. With the Two of Pentacles in reverse, it's like you're dropping something. Something that... It just wasn't working out with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And I feel like you're, you're choosing a different path. You're picking a different path for yourself. With the Eight of Wands, you're moving forward. You're moving forward and you're leaving something behind that didn't work out. Something that was... Um, something that turned out to be disappointing or underwhelming or just not what you thought it would be. Something that you lost passion for or lost interest for. A relationship here, Six of Pentacles in reverse. You've lost interest over a relationship that you feel was very one-sided. It looks like you're creating your own justice. With the justice card upright, you're creating your own justice. And also the four of pentacles, you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your energy, and you're going after what's most, what's most beneficial for you. You're being selfish in a good way um, this week. You're thinking about yourself and you're putting yourself first. Yeah, it looks like you're choosing not to, like, keep getting stressed about something that you were trying to make work. But it was draining you of your energy. It was causing you a lot of mental conflict and stress. And I feel like you're letting it go. You're releasing everything that was toxic or that was unhealthy.
All right, let me clarify this um, Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six of Wands spirit at the center of the spread. Why is the Six of Wands here? And Scorpio's energy. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving forward and you're choosing to you're choosing this week to focus on yourself, your work, your career, your finances, your personal success, your personal stability. This feels like a glow up for some reason. Some of you are doing a little bit of a glow up this week. I feel like you're glowing. It looks like you're vibrating, you know, at a higher level of energy. It, it almost looks like you passed the test, whatever that means. I don't know what that means, but it, it looks like you passed the test. You, you passed some sort of exam, you know? And I feel like you're feeling good about yourself, you know? You are feeling good about yourself. I feel like you just need to like focus on letting go of any um, resentment or, you know, grudges with the Four of Pentacles, bitterness, you know, but that takes time. That's not overnight. So I feel like that's what you would need to mainly focus focus on in regards to whatever le whatever you're leaving behind. Yeah, Queen of Swords is at the bottom here. You're getting clear. You're getting clear about what you truly want, what what is truly good for you, what is truly meant for you. You're getting clear on, you know, what is right and what is wrong with the Justice card. And again, Queen of Cups is here, so I feel like you are defending yourself or defending your emotions, protecting your emotions. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely feel like you gave something or someone your best. And it wasn't reciprocated. You gave something or someone your best and it wasn't reciprocated. Um, some of you might be communicating that with the Queen of Swords. You might be, you know, speaking up about, you know, how you feel or how someone made you feel. But all in all, it looks like you're just kind of Letting something go and focusing on yourself. We do have the Page of Swords. Tell me about that Page of Swords spirit. Hmm. Some of you might be walking away from someone, but you're still kind of watching them or you're still kind of keeping tabs on them. Um, it doesn't look like you're really interested in a reconciliation because it looks like this person has ruined their reputation with you and um, it's, it, would be a, it would be really hard for them to, to earn back your trust. But I do feel like some of you are kind of watching to see if this person is going to return back to you or if they're going to communicate with you. I don't feel like you would accept them, though, even if they were to reach out in some way. I feel like I feel like your mind is made up to not go back to the past and to just focus on yourself, you know. All right, let's move on to your person now. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit.
All right, what's the energy? Ooh, look at this Scorpio card, the Death card, and the Sun card. Hmm. You're, you're becoming happy again. You're feeling happy again. Again with the Seven of Cups and the Death card. So again, it's like you're, you're moving on towards, you know, other options in your life with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, looks like you're shopping. For some reason, I'm getting like you're shopping. All right, show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love spirit for this week, please. What is their energy in regards to Scorpio? And in regards to whatever connection or relationship they have with Scorpio. All right, here we go. Ten of Wands in reverse to the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, well, this person is definitely not over you. Ten of Wands in reverse. There's unfinished business here. They are returning back with the Eight of Cups in reverse. They seem to want to have a new beginning in love with you, Ace of Cups. Hmm. They're going to attempt to have a new beginning in love with you. Tell me more about this person's energy. Whoever Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for the week. The Four of Pentacles, oh, okay, Death, oh, but that's you, Tower in Reverse, Two of Cups in Reverse at the bottom, Ten of Cups, oh boy, yeah, this is a failed relationship here, Two of Cups in Reverse and the Ten of Cups in Reverse, failed relationship, that again, it looks like you're moving on from with the Scorpio card here. And again, with the Four of Pentacles, I already saw that here. You showed up with the Four of Pentacles on, on your side of the reading. And here you are again with the Four of Pentacles. This looks like you're telling yourself, actually. This looks like you're telling yourself not to fall into temptation. Not to believe in this person or accept any offer that they extend out to you I feel like you're telling yourself don't do it don't do it keep moving forward you know don't make the same mistake twice let it go i mean we do have the tower in reverse this is also a card of scorpio and it's in reverse so you're not you haven't completely left the building like you're walking towards the exit but it's, you haven't left the building. So there is some sort of risk here that you might change your mind in the last second. But I feel like you're telling yourself, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't change your mind in the last second. Keep moving forward. You know, remember, remember why you're leaving, you know. Remember why you're walking away. Remember what this person put you through. Don't forget about that, you know. Look for something better with the seven of seven of cups. You deserve better. All right. Anything else? Let's see. Tell me more about this person's energy. That wasn't your person's energy. That was your energy, but okay. Tell me more about this person's energy spirit. The person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Let me give it a shuffle just in case. Yeah, people are like taking back their power is what I'm noticing that common theme here in, in many of the readings. People are like taking back control of their lives, taking back power, taking back their power. They're, they're leaving the passenger seat and moving towards the driver's seat. <coughs> Sorry, something got in my throat. 
<clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, it's like some people are like stepping into their masculine energy. All right, here we go. All right, tell me more about Scorpio's person's energy spirit for the week. King of Wands in reverse. Thank you. Magician upright. Seven of Swords. Two of Pentacles at the bottom. What? Two of Pentacles and the Four of Swords in reverse. This person wants to break their silence. They want to break their silence. Oh, yeah, look. Four of Swords with the Page of Wands upright. Yeah, this person wants to break um, whatever silence exists between you two. Uh, I want to see that. I want to see what they want to say. This is someone who's been like watching you and spying on you for a while. I feel like this is how they're looking at you, the magician card. Yeah, I feel like they're looking at you or they're noticing how you're becoming a lot stronger, how you're becoming like a lot more confident, how you're taking control of your life. They're noticing it. They're noticing that and it's making them feel insecure and it's making them feel intimidated. Oh, interesting. Look at this. Two of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. So this is someone who wanted to stay single. This is the card of being single. The Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who didn't want to have a relationship or commit or settle down. They wanted to maintain um, their single status. But with the Two of Pentacles, you're making them think twice about that. You're making them think twice about that because they thought they could like have their cake and eat it too. And I feel like you're showing them that that's not the case They're and they're noticing it like they're they're getting the message loud and clear. Yeah, it looks like you're making a statement here and, and they're they're receiving the message and here they are thinking twice about about their decision to have no strings attached, have a relationship with you with no strings attached. Because they are very interested in you with the Page of Wands, but I feel like this person um, wasn't really committing themselves to you. Tell me about that Page of Wands spirit and the Four of Swords in reverse. You got this person thinking twice about their single status or about, you know, keeping their single status. Tell me about the page of wands, pair of fours, so in this person's energy. Eight of pentacles in reverse, strength and the empress. Oh, chariot. What else? The five of wands. Um, this is the same message. Okay. This is this is what I already told you. Like, um, this person is wanting to like reach out to you to see if there's still an opportunity to um to have a new beginning with you in love. I don't like that they're coming across as the page of wands. So I feel like this person is still going to be testing you. Yeah, they're going to be testing you. Like, yeah, I see that, you know, I see Scorpio is like taking back their power and taking back control. But, you know, let me just test Scorpio a little bit more just in case they're faking it. Mm. Yeah, keep that in mind, Scorpio. They're, they're going to try to push you and test you to see if um, to see if you're really if you really are um, taking back your power the way you're displaying or showcasing. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't like this Page of Wands energy. This is like a player here. Mm -hmm. Anything else about that Page of Wands spirit? Any any other information about that Page of Wands um, in regards to Scorpio's person? The Four of Cups. Oh. Yeah, this is someone who likes to keep their options open. Uh, they they like to keep their options open. They're, and they have an opportunity with you to, you know, be exclusive with you and, you know, build a real relationship with you. But they would rather not do that. They would rather, you know, they would rather connect with you with no strings attached. But it looks like you've you're you're challenging them on you're challenging them and in return they're going to test you. Okay. So Scorpio, this is what I see. I hope this um, made sense to you. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.